everybody, welcome back. Today, I'm going to talk to you about uh, three products that I use from Essence Cosmetics. I don't have any product on my face right now, so I have a totally clean slate. And the first product I want to show you is the Essence. It's called My Skin Perfection. It's a tinted primer, and it's used as a blurring effect. I find that it really helps my large well, they're not super large. These are larger in between my eyes and around on my forehead. Um, I can't really do anything about something that is involved sagging skin, but I can tell you that this definitely does blur and totally fills in these little creases better so that my foundation goes on smoothly. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is the lightest color they make and it's, um, a very light beige and I know a number of people talk about it but it comes out of the tube like this now this is very similar to what I used to use by Olay and they used to have a wrinkle filler and it was just kind of like this it's kind of like a semi chalky um, very velvety smooth let me show you. So it goes on like that. As you can see on my hand. It really just gives a very sheer touch of color. I wouldn't say for an older person, this might work as a foundation, but you can use it alone and a lot of people do. So I'm going to show you when I put it on my face, I'm going to start up here and I'm going to put it on my forehead. Now, I can see the blurred effect. Now, it doesn't remove the wrinkles, but the light diffusing effect of this product helps your skin look less wrinkled, more smooth, and it really helps take the next level of cosmetics, whether it be your foundation or blush, whatever you're planning on using, it'll help create a much nicer surface to work from. And again, it is a velvety, velvety kind of semi People have talked and say it's like chalky. I don't know if that's how I would describe it, but if you do need a little more, you can rub it on your forehead or wherever your lines are. And so I might put a little extra in these areas to help kind of diffuse it more. And I can definitely see if I use a little heavier hand on the larger creases on my forehead and in the center of my eyebrows, I do find that it reduces the effect of how intense my wrinkles look. So this is one product that I think is very well made. It's made in Italy, it's not made in China. It's easily available online and the price point is great. You can get it for about $5. And I have no problem with it on my skin. Read the reviews, see if it's something that would work for you. But as far as the price point goes, I find it equal to what I used to use by Olay. And now they came out with a wrinkle filler that is almost $35 online if you want to buy it. But this is the next best alternative I find for the money. Do you want to make your eyes look more bright, more white, more vibrant? Well, I do have some mascara on, and what I always do is I line my bottom of my waterline here with this nude pencil from Essence, and it works beautifully. Uh, I use their sharpener as well on their products. I found their sharpener works the best on all of my products that need a quick touch up point made at the end of it. And I'll show you that if I just put a little bit
on the bottom here on, on my waterline. It will make the whites of your eyes look more bright. You can see the white line and it will actually make your eyes look less tired, less bloodshot, and it will perk up the whole eye area. So I would totally recommend using this pencil. It goes on very smooth. It's very creamy. It's made by Essence and it comes from France. The last trick I want to show you is when you have lips, as you get older, they start to thin out. And I don't like to use plumping lip sticks. They kind of burn my lips to a little degree. Um, I'm not sure what's in them always that causes that effect, but I'm not going to go for any kind of injections or lip fillers either to make my lips look fuller. But this simple trick using a lip pencil, and I'm using a darker color so I can show you better. This is also by Essence and this is a lip liner, mechanical lip liner. And I'm going to show you. What I do is I line my lip, not all the way to the ends at all. I'm going to basically just line the bow. So I'm gonna show you, if I go here, You can already see I'm lining my lip and my lip on top looks fuller, looks larger. I'm going to line the bottom as well. So, now, I'm going to fill it in with this pencil. I can use this pencil as a base or like a primer for my actual lip color so it stays on a little better, but I'm going to do it so you can also see the effect. And I am just doing it to, I guess, let me tell you, if you have your two front teeth, two side teeth on each side, don't go any further than three teeth over, three teeth over on your top. and. The same on your bottom. Use, you know, that as a rule of thumb so it kind of matches up the top and the bottom. And I'm gonna just quickly fill it in. Now, definitely, now you can see, not only because I line my lips, but it actually makes my lips look larger on the top. I actually have a fuller lip line. And the bottom just make sure you get it to the very edge of your lip so that you are getting your full lip and you're just going to do that top and bottom, three teeth over, three teeth over, maybe six on the bottom, so the line matches up. Don't do to the edges of your lip. It's going to look weird, and it just doesn't look right. So that's a very simple trick if you want to make your lips look fuller, is just use a lip liner and don't extend it out as far. This lip liner happens to come also from Essence. It's mechanical. Um, and it's made in Germany. So this is made in Germany. The eye pencil that I used was made in France. And the blurring primer I used was made in Italy. So while our lives are very busy, but we don't have a lot of money or time to spend on getting ourselves fixed up every morning, these three simple things can really help brighten up your face, make you look younger, feel more refreshed, and I did a previous video on how you can look younger with a whole makeup overview, but these are three simple things that every woman who gets older starts to face. So the wrinkles and the sagginess around the eyes and the thin lips, 
These can all be rectified with some blurring wrinkle cream, some eyeliner on the waterline, and a simple lip liner done correctly on your lips to plump them up. So if you like this video, give it a like, a share, a thumbs up, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.